just gonna show you guys some behind the scenes of how we come up with a look and how we get ready for an event. So we talked about doing a natural wave and kind of keeping your hair looking like it just dried really cool. Um, I prepped it with Sajuan Ocean Mist and I'm using these duckbill clips that you can find at CVS or Walgreens. And I'm basically creating what would be a natural wave in your hair. So I'm using these clips and I'm spacing them out about two inches and just pulling the hair out a little bit so that it has a nice, cool bend. And I'm gonna blow dry over all these clips so that your hair looks like there was no curling iron put to it. I'm applying a cream eyeshadow right now. This is a Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, it's yeah. called Betty Davis Eyes. Sometimes Kim is so s specific with the look that she wants me to do, and sometimes she's just like, I don't care, whatever you want. So now that Kim's hair is about 75% dry, I'm gonna take these clips out and just rake through her hair with my fingers. It's really important to build a lot of body in the hair as you're blow drying it, so I'm almost using my hand as a diffuser and scrunching at the hair to create a really nice curl because once I brush through that, it's gonna loosen up a lot. So I just got these new shadows recently. It's called Surat Beauty by Troy Surat. Really, really beautiful eyeshadows. I'm adding a little bit of this dark bronzy one on the outer corner here. So a tip for girls that have longer fringe, what you wanna do is kinda just take your hair and twist it and blow dry in a downward position and just blow dry the twist to get a really nice loose bend in the front. A little black eyeliner to give her eyes some definition. Now I'm gonna take Kim's hair and I'm gonna section it off into three sections on each side. And I'm taking a Mason Pearson brush, putting my blow dryer on medium heat and just brushing through the wave that I created. I'm using this Anastasia waterproof cream color. It's really, really pigmented black liner. I'm gonna go over the pencil just to really give it some um, strong definition and pigment. So I'm taking the sections and I'm just cupping Kim's hair in my hand really loosely. I'm not really squeezing, I'm just holding it to get a nice S wave in the hair. So, I've been getting a lot of questions every day from editors. How has Kim's face changed now that she's pregnant? So why don't you tell me? It's changed a lot, it's huge. The bigger you my think? My lips, like I feel like I can hardly talk. Like my lips. Yeah, your lips do look plumper. But like, it's just the top lip gets so heavy that I feel like I can't even lift it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and use a one inch iron and create a really nice loose bend. Make sure that you come away from the bend as you go down. Some people make the mistake of just continuing in one swoop and it doesn't look great. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a little Orbe Dry Texture Spray and just break up her hair so it has a little bit more texture to it. And I like to kind of butterfly the hair out while I spray the texture spray so it goes through the hair evenly. Look at this nice color. Syrup in the buff, it's called. All right, guys, we did it. We did it, we're on time. On time. It's with three minutes to spare. Good. Messy. Hair, pretty glam. 